life's not fair, and I understand that. But at some point, it becomes an injustice that is unacceptable to tolerate. If you think about it, a child dies of malaria every 38 seconds, and that is the equivalent of 2,000 children per day. So sometimes we think about a million deaths, and it's an abstract number, but if you think, you know, 2,000 per day or one every 38 seconds, it brings the message home. I personally can't imagine what it must be like to lose a child. But my mother was an infectious disease physician, and uh, I used to go uh, with her quite a lot. And when I saw the sort of devastation that was being wrought by these diseases, I decided to start working on them. I was born and raised in Fairbanks, Alaska. I had parents who considered travel as a very important uh, teacher. I think that shaped my perception of the world and what I wanted to contribute to it. My childhood was pretty interesting. By the time I was, I think, two years old, I already had several bouts of malaria. So I've suffered, and I think I can contribute towards looking for a solution for it. I first became interested in biology when I was 15 years old. My sister and brother-in-law were both doctors, and they would come back home and tell us patients are suffering from infectious diseases. Hearing those stories, I thought something needs to be done. I had traveled enough internationally in third world countries to have a concern to begin with. But seeing the work being done and the diversity of people trying to work together to solve the problems was really inspiring. I really like interacting with people and one of my goals in life is to educate people about what scientists do and what infectious disease is and putting it in a, in a format that is understandable for everybody. My name is Marissa Vignali. Boniface Mwangela Maelu. Mwadadon. Alan Adiram. My name is Shaheen Shafiani. I'm Jill Scott, and I'm Associate Counsel at Seattle Biomed. I'm a postdoctoral scientist. I'm the immediate past chair. Staff scientist in the Odell Lab. Project manager of uh, BioQuest. I'm the director of uh, Seattle Biomed. I've been involved with Seattle Biomed for probably 17 or 18 years. I really admire the work that the research scientists are doing, and I see that they are big contributors internationally to advancing the knowledge base that will whip malaria and TB and HIV AIDS. Seattle Biomed has uh, scientists from 20 different countries, and we collaborate with uh, groups in, I think, over 100 countries around the world. Usually it's not one person that makes this amazing discovery that solves everything. It's all this accumulation of little discoveries that when you put them together, give you the elements to figure out the next step and the next step, so it builds upon. It takes an incredible body of people to effectuate the global health change in infectious diseases that we're all looking to make. What I foresee and hope will happen is that the accumulation and the accruing of all this knowledge will lead to better vaccines or better drugs. One of the most difficult things about making a vaccine is knowing whether it's going to work or not. And systems biology has the capacity to predict whether it will work and that information will allow us to cut many, many years off the development of a successful vaccine. I look back today and though we are making gains, it just calls for more work from our scientists because there's still a lot of work needs to be done. We need to get a cure or a vaccine to save lives. Well, I'm not a research scientist, but <laughs> you don't need to be a scientist to have a positive impact on global health. You just need to get involved. Imagine. 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 Imagine a world free from the threat of infectious disease. We do. We do. We do. This is my journey. What's your journey? Seattle Biomed. <laughs>